So in the mid nineties, I'm stationed on the USS Dixon in San Diego, specifically Point Loma area. I live in military housing in Point Loma. Back in the day, they had this full court basketball court in the middle of the housing and all the fellas played ball after work. We had one guy who played ball, a uh, skinny dude, but the thing that was interesting about this individual, he had titties. We all seen the titties. The titties, the titties never came up because you never discuss a man's bosom. Everybody know that. And then me personally, I figure I'm friend with this man. I ain't friend with his titty meat. So I guess that ain't no reason for that me to bring that up. And you know, he was a young guy. We all in our 20s. And he, he was going through it because he had thick ass glasses. Glasses. He already had a ball spot started and he had titties. We were like, life ain't really ain't fucking with this guy right now. So we weren't going to power on to his situation by bringing up his bosom. But we did expect him to be aware that he had bosom and he did not. One day we was going to play shirts and skins. He took his ass over there, tried to get on the skins uh, team and took his shirt off. We like, hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. You, you come over here. He thought that we, we could better use his basketball services over there. No, because the nigga took his shirt off in front of all them dudes. And we already knew he had titty meat bouncing up on the shirt. We didn't understand the extent of the problem. Lo and behold, he got more areola meat than he do titties. Most folks have titty and the titty is exited by, by some areola meat. He had mostly areola meat exited by titty meat. Who do that? That was crazy. That was that was cause for a discussion after the damn game. We sitting around, did y'all see his goddamn titties? Yeah, we did see him. I don't understand all that goddamn areola meat. That's not even regular. That's that's bow dollar. Anybody who grew up around some old black folks, you understand when they say bow dollar. Bow dollar is the one with Dwight Eisenhower on it, say 1978. He got some 1978 arrows. He got some black exploitation movie arrows. Those, those some coffee browns. Those some, those some Lola Falanas. Jane Kennedy's. He got some Which Way Is Up arrows. Some sweet, sweet back badass song arrow. Peter Weestraw arrow. Buck and the Preacher arrow. Some Bingo Long and a Traveling All Stars arrow. That don't make no sense there. At, at once, we stop everybody to start staring. And then somebody was like, Is we gay? <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's stop talking about this. Let's stop talking about this. No, but remember the rule. We never discuss a man's bosom. We never spoke of it again. So, well, then one day, he was missing. In no way, well, we said, oh, he must be old Lee. Ain't nobody even discussed it. We play ball like one nothing. So he come back 30 days later. We didn't put his titty meat out of our mind. You know how you get somebody that's trying to make everybody discuss a particular topic? He was say, saying stupid shit like, well, I'm so glad to be be back here. you like, okay. That was rough, man. I just try to, gotta try to get back into everything. I heard that. I'm glad I got that behind me. Okay. Well, what's going on with you, dog? He gonna pull up his shirt and show us these goddamn scars where he didn't have his titty meat removed and these stitches and bandits. We like, whoa, 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 whoa. We, we don't wanna see that, sir. And then he gonna say, I know y'all seen me with them goddamn titties bouncing up down court. That shit was painful. I had to get them motherfuckers off. So we all sitting there looking. We don't know what the hell to say. How do you respond to a man showing you he got his titties taken off? We're like, yeah, yeah get them titties off. And then I think I might have said, fuck titties. And you know, so some shit like that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm looking. So you mean tell me you get the tennis taken off and you leave all that goddamn areola meat? How the hell, how the hell you ain't throw them a couple more dollars to shave that goddamn areola down? So now he got a flat ass chest with big ass areola on. We like, that look like two targets. You could have had them shave them goddamn boat dollars down, turn them into a quarter or a nickel. You could have you had them make change of them boat dollars. Now you want to get mad because everybody played. Well, you the one brought it up. We didn't even recognize your titty was gone. And then you want to keep getting mad. Now since you want to be mad about it, I got some questions. Did they burn the titty meat off or did they cut it off? Did they put it away from your, from your chest like the membrane on some ribs? Who took custody of the titty meat? You mean tell me it's cut titty meat off? You just discard your own titty meat? You could have kept that and had it down for generations. You could have put that in a science project draw like they do the frogs. Out of here, you don't know where your titty meat at. Somebody probably using that titty meat to season greens. For all you know, since you won't get mad. That's why I don't pay to get too excited about shit. You won't tell everybody about some shit they ain't worried about. Your titties is your business, your burden about. The moral story is, keep your business to yourself.